to get it ready. Take the inside cover, the screw to screw this on. The motor wire goes through the hole on that side. This comes through over here and we hold it on like that. I'm gonna go ahead and use a small clamp to just kind of hold this in place while I while I screw everything in. Make sure everything's kind of lined up. Screw that in. And we're just leaving everything a little bit loose right now until we get that cylinder in on the front side. One of the important screws is the screw that holds the, the back plate to the front escutcheon. It goes down here on the bottom. It's kind of almost invisible, so you want to make sure you get that in there. Everything's a little loose. I can take this off now. Three mounting screws go up at the top. Leave those a little bit loose. Yeah, we'll tighten up the screws in the back. One on the bottom, don't forget the one on the bottom. Three on the top. Okay. So there's two mounting screws here, one on the bottom, three up here. Okay. It's open on the inside, always egress, it's locked on the outside. You can retract the latch with the key. We're going to plug everything in. The wire harness from the front to the back. Plug that in. Goes in one way. Make sure it's seated. Tuck the wire back in there. The motor. There's a port down here for the motor wire. It'll click in. You can hear it. And then there's a the battery box. I've already put the batteries inside the battery holder and we'll go ahead and plug that in. You should hear a beep. There you go. And here's the battery cover and that holds the in place. There's a little tab on the bottom that fits into the slot down here. We'll put that in there. Okay, that should be everything hooked and wired up. Make sure you don't pinch the wire. It takes two Torx T20 screws for the inside. This is to prevent tampering. 